and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos Burn. That's right, our next donation deck. We are going to be lighting up everything. Hawk, are you coming up here or not? You just sitting here looking at me now. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're we're going to be just playing some some good old Burn. Um, instead of playing mono red, we are going uh, splashing a little bit of black so that we can get some awesome cards in here. We got Angrath, the Flame Chains. We got Sword Point Diplomacy for some uh, card advantage. Uh, and then Dreadhorde Butcher is a really good creature and Sovereign's Bite as an extra burn spell. So we got a little bit of black in here. Black also gives us some good removal spells in our sideboard, as you can tell. One thing that's a little different with this uh, Rakdos Burn deck from others that I've played in the past is uh, we got Gutter Snippers in here, which that art is really, really cool on Gutter Snipe. But I haven't played very much Gutter Snipe. This is maybe like, you know, the first or second time I've played Gutter Snipe, you know, basically all year, <laughs> really. Um, haven't played too much of that card. So it'll be it'll be fun to play it. So... Yeah, not too not too much fancy stuff going on here. Let's just see if we can burninate the countryside with Rakdos Burn. All right, we're going to play through a league, see if we can get that five-win dream again. Yeah, we played against somebody playing Carnival the other day. They're, they're really, they really got us good. Yeah, this is Hawkeye. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just one conquistador diplomatic mission. That's our so that's our that sword point diplomacy. It's a conquistador diplomatic mission. Hmm. I don't like the idea of going down to five. Yeah, Silver Point's pretty good. Silver Point's good. Oh, sorry, I didn't get you Chapstick. Here, you want Chapstick? Okay. No? No Chapstick? Okay. Fine, we'll go to five. Don't really want to. Most blue-red decks play a whole lot of burn spells. And so I feel like the Dreadhorde Butcher would get burned immediately. So I'm going to try leading with Viachino Pyromancer instead. Yeah, we have four light up the stage. Yeah, there's four light up the stage in the deck. Set. Contain your rage. Ready, Narset, go. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the best. Bad Electromancer. All right, we we're doing our burn thing. Narset stops risk factor, but I'm not. You know, we don't have risk factor. I'm not uh, worried about it. Kind of stops Risk Factor. We can still cast Risk Factor during their turn and draw one card. Alright, Mulligan 5. We got there. That was a good Mulligan. 
It was a good mulligan. I'm going to take out Gutter Snipe because it's a three drop that, dro that dies to shock. Instead, we're going to play these theaters and Chandra's. So that's our that's our game plan. It's possible I'm supposed to be playing Bedevil for for Kefnet. I'll play one Bedevil over a Risk Factor, just in case they have a Kefnet. I'm just going to have this one this one Bedevil. Cat stream. Yeah, the butcher, the butcher felt awesome there. Um, really glad we had that. The times I've played Rakdos Burn, I actually have not played Butcher, and I feel bad about that now. Bloodfell Caves. Yeah, it'd be, it would be awesome to play more or to see more. Oh, this is Drake's now? It would be awesome to see more theater fours. Unfortunately, Lil Teferi bouncing it at the same mana cost. So Sir Eulen Drake can counter risk factor. I doubt that they'll do that, but they can. Wow, Shock is their worst card in hand? That sounds like a pretty loaded hand. So even though, like, Risk Factor probably wasn't going to get, like, for example, like, Negate. Like, Risk Factor wasn't going to get countered during my turn if I cast it. But doing it here, like, let's say they negated the Risk Factor, then we would have been able to slam Angrath. All right, well, hoping no Spell Pierce. No fire, no steel. Oh yeah, that was a, that was definitely a really good trade for us getting rid of the Sir Eulen Drake. I wasn't planning on playing. If they would have kept the two mana up, I would not have played the Angrath. Let's start by taking you. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I make it rain just for fun. No fire. I do this first so they have no less information team. whenever they discard a card. Uh, nothing feels broken. I'm pretty confident in our in our ability to win I'm a longer game right now with all this red card advantage. With them having just four lands, one card, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, yeah. If I would have let Ral stay alive, they would have been all the minus, and they would have been all the double drawn from Dreams. Yeah, I don't want them to double drawn from Dreams. No fire, no steel. I knew you needed help. 
no problem. Fire can't solve. That'll do. All right, Rakdos burn with a win. And we're one no. Yeah, I really like Angrath. So the Angrath ultimate, um, what it does is it has like cannonballs rain down on the opponent's avatar. Like just like up at the top, like cannonballs rain down on them. It's, it's pretty quick and it doesn't, um, it's not much, but it is like little cannonballs. Yeah, I, I agree. I really like the animations on Arena. You can't have your butt. Dang, we got five mana worth of stuff. We can only play <clears throat> four mana worth of stuff next turn. I think it's worth it to cast Risk Factor. So sorry, Viashino. Yeah, especially with that thing. Well, I mean, that thing's going to chump block the, the Butcher anyway. Says, go ahead and take the cards. All right, we'll take them. We're gonna find 15 points of burn. I mean, if opponent's playing just straight up Bant with Scape Shift, which they could be doing, then uh, you know they could they could be going for like the combo kill with Scape Shift and just saying that. I can't find 15 points of burn to kill them before they before that happens. Uses my mana better here to just cast the two spells, to cast the four mana, to cast both of those. Yeah, but now it looks like Golos. We're seeing the Temple of Scryum. My opponent's shown that they're just going to um, give me two cards. So they get four zombies. So sometimes you can like not you know wait on your burn spells and you cast the risk factors and they don't want to give you the cards and so they'll take the four first but our opponent is just going to be giving us the cards so uh play this land and use that land that'll do Hawkeye power. So this is a good gutter snipe matchup.
Yeah, I could see Angrath being too slow here, unfortunately. I could see replacing Angrath with a Legion's End. Do I want to play the other Legion's End over anything else? No, this deck isn't rotation proof. We have Dragon Skull Summit, the Sword Point Diplomacy, the Angrath, the Gutter Snipes, the Viachino Pyromancer, the Sovereign's Bite. There's a good amount of stuff that rotates from this deck. Lightning Strike. I'm going to try playing the other Legion's End over a Viachino Pyromancer that can get blocked very easily. I mean, honestly, they do a pretty good job of blocking. I could see uh, maybe that I'm supposed to just be playing Ritual of Sets. I don't know. Uh, the previous deck is is losing Chart, of course, but that's, that's kind of about it. The previous deck loses less. Hey, Phoenix Revive. There's probably, I mean, besides obviously mana-based stuff too, and there's, I'm sure there's other things too that I'm not really exactly thinking of right now. But yeah, if you're if you're trying to find like one deck to craft, it is kind of good to wait till the, the next set comes out, honestly, because we are. Uh, 19 days away from the next set being out and available on Arena. And so if you can wait the 19 days. And I wouldn't really recommend crafting Mono Red right now. I think you can craft like, I would, like a Mono Red Cavalcade is more of what I would recommend. Regular mono red's not very cheap on on arena. It still has a lot of rares. You know, like chain whirlers are rares and stuff. So you don't get any bonus for inexpensive cards whenever they're all the same amount on wild cards. Use those risk factors again. Could use those risk factors. Yeah, yeah, Cavalcade's the yeah, Cavalcade's the red version to go with right now. Whoa, what's up, Campfire Studios? With the tier three resub for 26 months. Getting so much hype in here. What's up? Hope everything's going good, Campfire. Yeah, the rotation proof Chandra Tribal we played. That deck was really fun. I should have just cast Sovereign's Bite. I don't really know why I didn't. I should have cast Sovereign's Bite last turn. <sighs> There's no benefit to saving it. Hey, the things are getting done. That's, that's good that things are getting done.
Our opponent had really, really good lands here, having triple Field of the Dead and the Arch of Araska to get him more cards. Very good lands. We need to draw Risk Factor. That's the card we need. Which we got four of them in here. Gutter Snipe wouldn't be so bad either. Get another turn. Oh, yeah. Field of the Dead is, has been the biggest thing in Standard for the last couple of months. This, these are the most... Field of the Dead decks are the most popular. There's a Golos version, a Yurok version. You know, some play both. Oh, they have a Nexus. GG's. Yeah. State of standards pretty good. Yeah, I I think it's it's pretty hard to complain about the state of standard right now. One lander, one lander, come on, deck. Yeah, I mean Blood Suns would obviously help in our sideboard for this matchup. Um but I, I understand not wanting to craft uh, Blood Suns because they're rotating out. But, it, I mean, for how popular Field of the Dead is, any any red deck that I'd be playing would have Blood Suns in it. This is a tough call here. Do we have time to play a gutter two Gutter Snipes? The time to play turn three gutter snipe, turn four gutter snipe. I kind of hate that I got rid of that land, honestly. But with us just being at five cards, it's so tough. All right, cool. We got there. I think praying that we drew a land in the, the top two is the way to go. So our point diplomacy going with this first because this usually helps you hit land drops. Where like if we just play risk risk factor, maybe they just take the four. But here they're just gonna Oh wow, they're giving me the cards? Are you kidding me? They're just giving me the cards when I have gutter snipe out? They could have paid three life to not give me that that skewer. Now they're taking five. I have gutter snipe. That worked out really, really well. All right. Have a good night, Marias.
It, so what if there's no good answer for Field of the Dead in Eldraine? Um, Standard could be in a lot of trouble, honestly. Because Standard's going to be a slower. Which is just better for Field of the Dead. And so if there's no card at all in, in Throne of Eldraine that, that deals with Field of the Dead, that is going to make my life a lot worse. Because it's probably just going to be Field of the Dead everywhere. And that's not going to be enjoyable. It looks like I'll be playing a lot of Historic and Brawl. I don't expect that to be the case at all, though. I don't expect that to be the case. I expect... Because um, I think that, that would be like the nightmare scenario for, for Wizards. So I, I don't think that... I think that's something that Wizards doesn't want at all. So I, I don't expect there to just be nothing for Field of the Dead. I think there's a, a really low percentage chance that that's the case. Yeah, we got this. I don't expect food tokens to kill mono red. Food tokens are that's really slow paying two mana to gain three life with them. That's pretty slow. <clears throat> Uh, so statement here is I don't think they anticipated how dominant field would be back during design. I'm I'm with you there. I I don't think I think it's pretty unlikely they did as well. However, um, however, we've seen that th they can edit their sets. Um, yeah, like they they do they can edit their sets. Like, even after design. Gosh, I need a shock Lanor Elf. Yeah, I just need a shock Lanor Elf. Of course, my plan was to shock them and then light up the stage, but... We need a shock Lanor Elf. But... But the thing is, is like... They, they've edited cards uh, before to... Like that, like... You know, just recently, we had... Wilderness Reclamation... That that card, they really didn't expect Wilderness Reclamation to see standard play. Like it was printed for Commander, um, and then they, you know, they realized that they messed up, and that card was was pretty broken. And then the next, you know, then the very next set, we get three mana to Fairy that shuts it down because they were like, "Whoops, we made a mistake. We need to have something that shuts that down." And then so suddenly you can't cast any spells. Except for dur during sorcery speed. And so I could see the same kind of thing happening here. Alright, kill a leafkin or go upstairs. Kill a leafkin, go upstairs. Kill a leafkin, go upstairs. Kill a leafkin. It's either three damage to them or stone rain. I think I prefer stone rain. No, not life gain. No, not life gain. Ugh. The bane of our deck. Life gain. Shame concede. I didn't I didn't have any I don't have any shame with how I played this game. I, I 
am very satisfied with every decision I've made in this game. Just gotta get rid of these lifelinkers right now. <laughs> a gingerbread, wait, there's a gingerbread planeswalker? Is that actually a thing? <clears throat> Stop gaining life, opponent. There actually is a gingerbread planeswalker. Wow. Nissa ends the, the game too fast for us. This is going to be a really tough matchup. I guess we got Noxious Grass, Ritual of Soots, Bedevils. I guess we do have good removal. Alright, 75. Let's go. We're gonna have to be the control deck. Like that's that's just we're gonna just have to morph into a control deck. Like that's all we're gonna have to like that's all we're gonna be able to do. You're welcome, Orson. Have a good night. I'm here every day, 3 to 10 Eastern. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we'll, so our important cards are going to be like Theater of Horrors, uh, Chandra, and Grath. And yeah, I think we do need some, some Gutter Snipes, though, so I'm, I'm going to go and put some back in. Gutter Snipes aren't spectacular with Ritual of Soot. That's pretty fine. Well, let's get rid of Light at the stage, actually. I, I really want to hit these land drops. I don't want to, like not be able to get to three lands. We have, we have so many three drops in this deck here. Really glad we have the theater fours though. I would like them to play Nyssa. Let's 
too bad. I really want them to play Nissa. Then us Noxious Grasp the Nissa and then untap and Ritual of Set. I know I could have Noxious Grasp the Risen Reef there and keep them from drawing one card, but I I think I would rather them I'd rather have Noxious Grasp in my hand and them draw a card than the other way around. I think Noxious Grasp is valuable at killing their stuff. Can't you play Nissa last turn? I, protect the virtue of this world. I could have waited again another turn, honestly. Stop. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Be wary of the ground you walk on. you no longer theater of horrors control deck online I thought I land under here. I guess I don't. Oh, we don't. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is really tough for us to beat. Krasis, Nissa, these cards. Like, these are really difficult cards for us to beat. Now, it wasn't a top deck ritual, so we had it underneath this this theater fours. Oh, they're playing Little Teferi too. I'll protect you. Oh well, that's that's miserable. Those cards are gone now. We're getting our shock lands at the wrong time too. I really should have seen that coming. And that means they have crisis. I'm out of ritual assets. I'm trying. I'm trying over here, but it's not. It's so tough. Nissa Krasis. 
Risen Reef. These cards are so hard to beat with our deck. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. Yeah, those cards are just so hard to overcome with our deck. Let's try this. I will aid you. No, I've I've actually never played a Mirror March deck. Harness the elements. Tulsimer also. All right, that's that's unwinnable. No, we, we really can't put up with those kind of bombs. All right. Two and one. Two and one. Especially Krasis. You know, all those Krasis drawing three cards. Because, you know, I, if I didn't go control route, we'd have our just normal plan of Viashino Pyromancers and Dread Horde Butchers, and those cards are not killing our opponent. The kind of deck that we're playing likes to play against uh, control decks, like the slower, the slower control decks that don't kill you very quickly. Those are our best matchups. So our opponent just sitting there. Thank you. Hero is just too much loyalty there with seven to be a gain seven life card. We're not going after Kiora with having these gutter snipes and risk factors and everything. Our opponent did mulligan to five, as you can tell, with their hand here. Guess I should get gutter snipes in play. really like to draw a land the next turn Let's get with having <clears throat> these risk factors everything we need to hit land drops I 
Okay, good. Nature flows with vigor. Ronus doesn't have trample, so we can uh, we can chump block Ronus later. Wow, Gutter Snipe really kills your opponent quickly. <laughs> that was just 12 damage from Gutter Snipes there. From the... Uh, you know, from turn 4 to turn 5. So yeah, that was just a turn 5 kill. We didn't see a lot of our opponent's deck. I think, I think there's... Let's. I think we just want to keep this the same, honestly. I think they're a little slower than a whole bunch of Hydroid Krasis. It's possible they are playing Krasis. It's possible they're, just, they're not really slower, but they're they're like a Gruul deck, though. Like So they're likely Gruul. I guess I should be playing the Noxious Grasps. I don't know if I need them. I don't know. I just, I just I'm not sure. I think I want to just try this burn plan again and just kind of see what happens. If I was going to put in Grass, I was probably going to take out the Angrath. I think that that was the card I was going to take out for not for a Noxious Grasp. Just off the bat, we'll we'll kind of see how it goes. Though. Yeah, I'll find one forty six one nine. that card let's play that card Rhythm scary. Rhythm is pretty scary. There you go, six one nine. Okay. I think I cast risk factors here. DH Sokar with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support. So many wonderful subscribers today. Y'all are amazing. And yeah, so many viewers in here, over a thousand. Y'all are awesome. So we got nothing big, which is good. Nothing big and scary with that Rhythm of the Wild. It's definitely good. Oh, you're welcome. Aw, 
nice. Y'all are nice. Thanks, Boot. Yeah, so there's a couple of links there. The Discord channels for everybody. If you like talking magic, you want to talk Bruce, talk Throne of Eldraine, anything, uh, you know, feel free to join there. That's the best place to send me messages as well. Okay, okay. Nice fail of summer there. And then, yeah, the YouTube channel is where all the replays go. Alright, they're Hasten. That's Cavalier of Thorns. They're doing eight. Eight's fine. Or that's ten, because right, because I didn't block. All right, so we're one point short of attacking and killing them, so we'll just sit back. But I wanted to gain, I wanted to cast the Sovereign's Bites to gain life. GGs. We are three and one. Yeah, I think the in this in this specific deck, I think the the risk factors are are worth the slots in this deck. I think you you need like the extra burn spells and everything. Yeah, they're playing Cinder Vines because we're a spell heavy deck, so I guess they're trying to ping some damage there. It's it's not a good idea, but that was the thinking. They should not have Cinder Vines in there. Some people see Cinder Vines. Uh, you know, maybe this is a good lesson if this is any of you out there. Just because, like, see Cinder Vines and think, oh, my opponent's playing spells, so I should play Cinder Vines so they take damage from those spells. It's better to have a card that, you know, affects the battlefield that can attack or, or cancel out one of the other spells or, or anything like that. Um, yeah, the Cinder Vines just isn't, isn't worth it there. I mean, it can be okay against control if you can get a lot of other pressure also. But against, like, Esper that, that gains, that has a good amount of life gain in the deck. I don't I don't really like Cinder Vines against Esper because, you know, they have, like, all their Othakayas and, and stuff like that that just that gain life, and so... Your Cinder Vines isn't really trading with the spell. And against Esper, you need all of your cards to, to trade with spells, and you need to, to try to outgrind them where your Cinder Vines doesn't. Yeah, I like Cinder Vines against Nexus. But that's where it's it's amazing against Nexus. But that really is the spot for it. Um Little three mana to fairy has really shut down the amount of artifacts and enchantments being played. So there's not a whole lot to destroy there. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got we really need red mana here so we can butcher and lightning strike. That's brutal. Just waste a lightning strike. Brutal. This is hardly my worst defeat. That's 
Not good. We're sideboarding out the gutter snipes in this matchup. They're too slow for Esper. Well, I I played Bite last turn because we had Swamp Swamp. You know, I played Light Up the Stage to look for two two spells, and as you notice, we had we had Mountain Swamp Swamp. I couldn't play Lightning Strike last turn. Dang, what a brutal thought erasure! I needed that Sword Point diplomacy pretty bad, and now we're now we're drawing the lands when we don't need them anymore. Ugh. If I shock the gutter snipe, do they still gain three life? I don't think so. It's just one target. We just had the shock basically turn into a lightning strike by doing that. If I were you, I'd just surrender right now. What a good mindless minion. We need to find risk factors. Man, that, that sword point diplomacy loss was rough. But, I mean, our next three cards were pretty bad, but they would have just dug us. Putrid, but effective. That's a terrible draw. Dress. Just keeping this Liliana from ultimating another turn. Let's slow this down. <laughs> good help is easy to find in war. Let's skip to the good part. I'm glad they're skipping to the good part. Guess it's not going good enough for them right now. Okay. Well, Othakai is a beating. Uh, Noxious Grass, Bedevil, Chandra, Theater. Gutter Snipe out.
Could take out Shock, with it being the thing that does the least amount of damage. But it also costs one, which is beneficial at times. Really wish we had a whole lot more Angrath instead of these theaters for this matchup. Angrath is much better because of Teferi just bouncing theater so efficiently. Can't take out Sovereign's Bite. Yeah. The life gain doesn't matter, so it's just a three damage burn spell that can only go upstairs and isn't flexible. You're welcome, love. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, glad. Yeah. Love said, thanks, Todd, for doing the Brawl stream. I went uh, from one out of six the other day to six out of six in about an hour or two after watching your video on YouTube. It helped get the idea of the strategy for that deck. Awesome. Glad. Yeah, glad it could help. Okay, so we need an untapped land, of course. That'd be really nice to get for our first draw step here to be able to play Dreadhorde Butcher. No. My best cards. My Planeswalkers. My best cards. Yeah, Chu Lane is is a pretty amazingly good brawl commander. Cause yeah, you get Yeah, you say yeah, you get to little Teferi, you get Tammy, you get you get Hydroid Crisis, like Hydroid Crisis with that card. You get some pretty awesome stuff. Lightning Strike being the pick is pretty surprising, to be honest. Yeah, Lightning Strike's a pretty surprising pick there. I like baby Chandra in this deck. I think baby Sh baby Chandra can be good. gonna play the Angrath because they know about the Angrath. Hooray! You're no fire, no steel. It's gotta be an actual land in hand. Yep. Even though Angrath was more valuable to get in play than Theater of Horrors. No fire, no steel.
All right, so didn't need to show them Theater of Horrors. Game three. Yeah, they just had they just had some discard spells, and that was it. You know, like one cry of the Carnarium and some discard spells, and like eight lands. So that was pretty easy. <laughs> Fire, steel equals zero. Mountain, mountain, swamp. Shock for turn one duress. Can't you just play duress on turn two? Like, the the point of my deck is to do damage to you. And you're just taking two damage. You're just making my life easier. Why, why can't you just play duress this turn? Was there like a, a one mana spell that my opponent was super scared that I was going to play that they'd need a duress for? I got to shock in here and take this shock before they play it. These card sleeves, we just got them from the store. These were the Angrath ones. I don't know anything about if they're still available or not. All right, before they have counter magic up for the risk factor. And I, I want Blood Crypt in play. I, I wouldn't mind like discarding like Swamp to risk factor or something. I, I just want the Blood Crypt in play. I think it's worth the two life. If you show remorse, I'll show the story. Here we go. And again, while they're tapped out. Oh, I can't. I should just, I should just cast the shock. I can't just instant speed shock. There's the fairy in play. This I should have cast the shock. Idea. We'll see if they have another duress. Nope, no duress. Just one card left. I'm glad they didn't have instant speed legions end. Your plan's working too well. Whatever the plan is. Casting Sword Point is so much more fun than casting these cards. I wish I would have cast the shock earlier so I still had the mana to cast sword point plus the other two. I could have sword point first. It's a lot easier when we didn't have a handful of gutter bones and had a handful of better stuff after sideboarding. Alright, we are four and one. Oh, we are on to the final boss here. Rakdos burn, final boss. After how long that the first two leagues took, 
I was like, whoa, we're on final boss already? Yeah, Rakdos, Rakdos burn, final boss hype. I wouldn't mind facing Esper again. All right, all right, we'll take Esper. We'll take Esper. Esper Hero is going to be more difficult than Esper Control. They have better cards that pressure. They probably have more of the four mana creatures that gain life. It's going to be a tougher matchup for us in general. I mean, our deck has gutter snipe and play or like in like we have gutter snipe in the deck, so we should play gutter snipe. But this is the problem with gutter snipe: we just trade with a removal spell and do zero damage. Just can't have that. But then again, I mean, it's in our deck; we got to play it. We're sideboarding them out, though. You know, imagine these were theater of horrors. Ugh. Or Chandra's. But there are other matchups that don't play removal where Gutter Snipe can be really good. Against like the, I don't know, like the elemental decks or something. No, oh, I don't, I don't, that was really bad. That was really bad. I don't know why I just played that land for my hand. I should definitely be playing the Swamp, have the land in hand that I could discard Risk Factor. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to need to do some sideboard in here. Question. Good question. I am not we did beat the Esper Control. Moment. Can we get Esper Hero? And same, same kind of thing. We got annihilated game one against Esper Control also, and then we won games two and three. Keep so we're getting pace. annihilated here, game one. So then, can we get games two and three? No, I am not making. It was the same kind of thing. Our opponent had just nothing but gas game one, and then didn't really do very much games two and three. So maybe it's the same thing here. We don't know. Keeping this land in hand because of risk factor. Card shuts if down risk factor. Now, I understand. I've got time. All right, I'm picking up the cards. <laughs> so Sovereign's Bite, it's not worth a card. You know, it just trades for like half of all of the, like their cards in the deck that say gain three life. And Gutter Snipe's not worth it either. So if we bring in Noxious Grasp, Chandra, Bedevil, Theater. All right. That's our deck. Here we go.
So I think I think Jeskai here I'm gonna move to tomorrow last because it's already it's already ten o'clock almost. Like by you know by the time we finish with this, we're bumping up on ten o'clock. And um, Kendis, the person that donated for it, said to said it was okay to move it to tomorrow if this you know if you know I, so if if we would have played like a really fast league here then I would have played it but we didn't and Jeskai Hero is not really a fast deck that could be another two hour league and so I could be here till like midnight so yeah so third slot tomorrow yeah absolutely Kendis I can do that um, I think I'm going to start early tomorrow I think maybe I'll just start early tomorrow maybe I'll do that Maybe we'll start like an hour or two early. What do y'all think about starting at like one tomorrow instead of three? The reason why I'm thinking about, yeah, because Sunday, um, you know, people aren't at work and stuff on Sunday, so I could, ugh, Legion Zen, that's such a killer. Because then that would give me time to watch some, watch like a football game or two after the stream at night if we start early so I could do like instead of 3 to 10 do 1 to 8 Sunday early stream. No, I don't have anything. I'm not a. Fa I'm not in, in any fancy league. No, I'm. I'm a Steelers fan. Because, as y'all know, I was you know born in Iowa. So, you know, I'm an Iowa Hawkeyes fan, and, you know, that's why my cat's name is Hawkeye. And the Hawkeyes are black and gold, so whenever I was a kid, I'd, you know, I wanted to pick a, pick a, a pro team. And the Steelers are also black and gold, like the Hawkeyes, and so that's why I picked the Steelers. that's how it was meant to happen. Hurry! Did the Patriots sign Antonio Brown? That must have happened while I was streaming today. I, did, I didn't hear that at all. Wow. Yeah, that's a great pickup for the for the Patriots. The flood. Yeah, I like, yeah, so Vikings would have been like the geographic one. And I like Minnesota, so like, so like the Vikings I've always like kind of liked um, because of that. Like I'm a twins, like, you know, I like the twins, for example, like Minnesota twins, like they're, so yeah, geographic makes sense for, like that should have been a minnesota fan but just like with the colors and everything i like the steelers Yeah, I think this one's over too. Oh, no, I, I was actually from Solon, Iowa. That's where I grew up. I was born in Cedar Rapids, so I was from like the Cedar Rapids area, so not Iowa City. We can find our planeswalkers. 
Who knows? Here goes nothing. They could obviously just have counter magic as well. But our deck isn't really designed to <clears throat> draw the nine lands and and we see why the hero matchup's a lot harder for the burn deck. So much more life gain between Oath of Teferi, these average guard mages. And this thing bouncing them. My opponent thinking that'll draw something that's not a land. Are they out of those? No, it's got two more. Don't worry, I got this. They should really be bouncing the guard mage again, not the Othakaya. Like the three damage isn't valid. Like, you know, they should attack with the guard mage and bounce that, draw a card. Instead of bouncing that thing. You know, a card is more valuable than three damage. Two. Alright, still a good league overall for our deck. You know, nothing wrong with four and two. We had some really bad hands there against the Esper deck both times. But, but yeah, not not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, so that's Rakdos Burn. Not too much to say about the deck, I don't think. Uh, gutter Snipe overall, I, I didn't really love the Gutter Snipes. Um, I I kind of wish we had like some more one drops, like maybe like the the Wizard. Oh yeah, sorry, I'll get some music back. Um, maybe like get to Lava Runner in here if we if we're playing Viashina Pyromancer and stuff. Um, I like the Planeswalkers a bunch, and like I really like the Chandras, and I like the Angras, and honestly, I would, I would kind of rather have like maybe even just like three mana Chandra instead of Gutter Snipe. Honestly, three mana Chandra is pretty good in this kind of deck too. I like how the Planeswalk, like the Planeswalkers, are a lot more difficult to deal with. Uh, right now, people aren't like just overloaded on Planeswalker removal, but. All right, Hawkeye's hungry. I'll go feed Hawkeye. So that's Rakdos Burn. So if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Feel free to leave comments as well. Uh, but for Hawkeye, say, say hi, Hawkeye. But for Hawkeye and myself, thanks so much for watching um, some Rakdos Burn, and I'll see you for the next video. Hawkeye. Okay. Bye.